In order to machine MDF doors on the CNC router, a door must be made in the door style library of Cabinet Pro or Door Pro such that we have a panel only with all style and rail width set to zero. Then, at the cutting and drilling definition screen, part number 11, door panels, should be selected. When this is done, there will be available two major methods by which machining may be automatically applied to doors, drawer fronts, built up finished ends, and decorative backs. These two methods may be used in conjunction together. The first method consists of assigning a machining operation to a specific door style, where every time that particular door is selected either in Door Pro or in Cabinet Pro, then the door specific machining will be applied automatically. Although we will only make this one machining operation assigned to a specific door style, know that we may create as many machining operations as are necessary per door style and they will all be applied automatically when the door style is selected within a job. The second method consists of assigning a machining operation to a specific panel, frame, or edge detail such that whenever that particular detail is assigned to any door, then the ma machining as associated with that detail is automatically applied to the door. Although, for our example here, we will only make a few machining operations assigned to a specific panel detail, know that we may create as many machining operations as are necessary for each panel, frame, or edge detail, and they will all be applied automatically when the detail is selected within a job. So here we have created two machining operations assigned to panel detail P3. These two machining operations will form an X in the middle of, of a door. We have made this form an X only so that we will be able to easily view the machining on the door when P3 is assigned as a panel detail. We have also made a rectangular cut near the edge of the door and assigned it as panel detail P2. This cut will occur whenever the panel detail P2 is assigned to a door. The specific shape of any of these cuts is dependent upon the tool being used. Finally, we have made a rectangular cut existing two inches away from each edge to be automatically assigned to all door styles named MDF-RP. Now let's assign our door style and door details to our sample cabinet. Remember, we will be concentrating on panel details in this example, but the exact same concepts apply to frame and edge details as well. At the Door and Drawer Information category of the Job and Room Information screen, we have assigned the panel detail of P2 to be automatically assigned to all cabinets. On our sample cabinet, we have defined our medium-sized door as MDF slab. This door style has no machining assigned to it. And if we look at the door and drawer details, we find that the room's default panel detail of P2 has been overridden in this section to be none. This means that our medium-sized door on the bottom here will have no machining whatsoever. Our tall door in the center section, however, is defined as MDF-RP. Remember that we assign this machining to be applied to all MDF-RP doors. In addition, if we access the Door Drawer Details screen, we will find that the room default of P2 as the panel profile has been overridden by the panel detail called P3. Remember that we assign this machining to be applied to all doors with a panel profile of P3. Finally, our short door is also assigned the door style MDFRP, so it too will be automatically machined uh, the definitions assigned to all MDF RP doors. In addition, if we access the door and drawer detail screen for this section, we will find that the room default of P2 as a panel profile has not been altered for this particular door. Remember that we assign this machining to be applied to all doors with a panel profile of P2. Now let's optimize and send these doors to our CNC router. Here are our medium sized MDF slab doors with no machining whatsoever. Here is shown our tall doors where this outer rectangle represents the machining defined for all MDF RP door styles. This is that original definition in our machining library. Here are shown our two short doors with the machining defined for all MDF RP door styles. And our short doors also have the P2 machining forming the rectangle near the edge of the door as is shown in our machining library. If we change our panel detail or door style, then our machining shown here will also change 
as well and all done automatically. Remember, there are three levels of assigning panel, edge, and frame details. The first level is at the Job and Room Information screen where these details will be automatically assigned to all doors in the room. But as we have seen, we can override those default door details for each section of each cabinet at the Cabinet Editor. We can also change door, door details if we are entering doors by themselves without cabinets. But there is yet another method of assigning panel, edge, and frame details that has the highest priority. If a door style is assigned a panel detail at the door style library, then this assignment overrides both the room defaults as well as a cabinet override. For example, if we change the door style of a given section, to a door style whose panel detail is specifically set for that door style. Then if we view this section's door details, we will find that the panel detail assigned at the door style library has priority over any other setting.